So in this lesson, we're going to speak about the open and closed tap. So this is the open tap, and this is the closed tap. So it's quite obvious why they call that, because of their shape. Now there are some differences. The first one is in which words they are found. So the open tap is used anywhere, meaning in any position of the word, and in any word. So either in the noun, or a verb, or a particle, so it's not restricted to any type of word in the Arabic language. While the ta marbota, the closed ta, only occurs at the end of a word and only in nouns. So let's look at some examples of this, inshallah. So here we have the word bait, baitun, this is the tenwin, and this is an open ta. We also have the word, for example, Tamron, which means dates. So notice here the open ta at the beginning of a word. We also have, for example, a verb here, mata, which means he died. And ta can also occur alone as a particle. And one of its usages is particle of swearing an oath. Now with the ta marbota, the closed ta, we have the following words. So you notice here the ta marbota at the end of the word. And this is one thing about the ta marbota. The way it's written is exactly the same as a ha. So if you remember the ha can be written in two ways. At the end, if for example it doesn't join to the second last letter, it will be written on its own like this. Or if it's connected to the second last letter, it's written like this. Now the difference between the ha and the tamarbota is just the two dots at the top. So, they're both tamarbotas now. Now the ha also has the medial form. If you remember the medial form, which is that. Now we said that the tamarbota can never be in the middle of a word. It's always at the end. So this, you won't find a tamarbota like that. That doesn't occur. Here the word is Medina and Khadija. Notice one thing, I didn't mention the ta. I actually pronounced the ta marbota as a ha. Medina. Khadija. Now if I stop on the ta marbota, it's actually pronounced as a ha in both cases. So here Medina means a city, and Khadija is a name of a female. The ta marbota also is a sign of femininity. So you find this ta marbota in a number of female words. So that's another point about the Tamar Bota. And thirdly, if you actually pronounce the last letter with the Haraka, so for example, say when say Khadija tu. Notice Khadija tu. We pronounce the ta. If we stop at the ta, Khadija, it's a ha. Medina or Medinatun, if we put the tenween. Just a point there, female names don't get a tenween. They only get one dhamma or one fetha. They don't take a kasra. But we'll speak about this, inshallah, later on. You don't need to know that at this stage. So the complete lesson, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.